Hey guys, this is Ayushi and today I'm taking you through my kind of daily hair care routine. Things that I use the most, very basic stuff but I thought I'll just show you guys the products that I've been using. I also have been using a new blow dryer which I can't wait to share with you guys. We're doing a really exciting giveaway at the end of the video so please keep watching. So the first thing is of course the shampoo that I've been using. It's been the Kerastars Discipline range. Now I tend to colour my hair every now and then and I do use a lot of heat as well. So this is a range that kind of soothes my hair, makes it frizz free and just is a really nice shampoo to use on a daily basis. I also use a clarifying shampoo every now and then but this is something that I've been using the most. It doesn't weigh my hair down, it just makes it perfect so absolutely love this one. The next thing is of course the conditioner. Now I know that everyone keeps talking about how you need to use a conditioner every time you wash your hair. I don't tend to do that because I feel like that kind of weighs my hair down a lot. So I use a conditioner every alternate wash and I've recently been using the L'Oreal Professional Argan Oil and Green Tea one. This is for coloured hair so it, it protects your hair if you use a lot of colour. It makes it really nice and smooth. I just apply this to like from the middle end to the bottom of my ends of my hair and it basically just makes it really nice and hydrated. It's usually my ends that tend to appear, appear drier. Uh, so that's the only place that I really need it. I don't apply this anywhere close to my scalp and it does a really good job with like nourishing my hair and keeping it like that for a couple of days. So this is something that I've really been liking. So once I'm done washing my hair, I usually will apply like a serum. The one that I've been using recently is this one from Kerastas. It's just something that's really simple. I take about two pumps onto my hands and then again run it through my entire hair. I like doing it when my hair is slightly wet before I blow dry it because I feel like this absorbs in much nicer and it gives like a really nice shiny finish to my hair once I blow dry it. So this is something that I really, really like. I know it's a little bit expensive but it's definitely an investment product. And on the days, like I said, when I don't use a conditioner, I just wash my hair and use this and it works amazingly. Another thing that I really like using is this L'Oreal Pro Keratin Liz Unlimited um, smoothing cream. It's basically like a leave-in conditioner so you can apply this to your hair, let your hair air dry and it will just make your hair smoother, frizz-free and really nice looking for a really long time. Uh, I tend to use this again the days when I'm not using a conditioner in the shower. I'll get out of the shower, use this. Um, I also really like putting this in and then making braids, um, like about two braids in my hair and that kind of like curls my hair while my hair dries. And yeah, this is something that's really nice. It's not that expensive either. So if you're looking for something that's a little bit um, different from your usual stuff, give this a go. The last product that I want to talk to you about is something that I picked up recently when I was traveling. It's the Way Texturizing Spray. Now I've heard about this so much on YouTube and even otherwise, I just had to give it a go. And I've been using this for about two months now and I completely and absolutely love it. On a daily basis, I don't like to put heat in my hair or too much heat in my hair. So this kind of does the job of like styling my hair without putting too much heat in it. And I'll just spray a little bit in my hair and then scrunch it up and it gives it that really nice wavy texture that looks super natural and you guys keep asking me what I've done. It's literally just it's texturizing spray. I spray a little bit onto my hair and then like scrunch it up and it gives it that really nice texture almost like you woke up like this. But a little bit of this goes a long way. I have a couple of these in, my, in a travel size and I just carry them around everywhere with me. It kind of works like a... Um, dry shampoo and a texturizing spray where it kind of adds that volume to your hair and also adds texture so this is something that I really like and if I'll try to find a link to where you can buy this online but otherwise if you're traveling definitely give this a go and pick it up as soon as you can. The last thing I want to share with you guys is basically a heating tool now this is a product that I've been using for a couple of months now and I've noticed that this is the only thing I tend to use these days so I've pretty much not been using any of my other heating tools it is the Dyson Supersonic Hair Dryer I first got introduced to this a couple of years back when I was vis visiting my aunt in Singapore and since then I've been wanting to get my hands on this um, and so I'm really happy that I finally have one. It's basically made my, my life so much easier. I have been able to kind of blow dry my hair like really quickly like within five minutes and it was just something that I was you know getting so comfortable with just being able to style my hair without any hassle and in such a short amount of time. So yeah, this is something that I want to definitely make a mention on. I'll take you through some of the settings and uh, why this is something that you should definitely invest in. So to start off with, the first thing that I noticed is how much lighter this is than to a regular blow dryer. It's a really simple tool. I know it looks very different from a regular blow dryer, 
but it's just something that is super super lightweight and I think once you actually turn it down it becomes even lighter because of the air that's going through it. So how it works is that it basically sucks in the air from here and also from here and then it brings it out from the nozzle right here. Uh, it basically has like a triple flow of air coming in which is why your hair is drying much faster. So it basically has a couple of settings. It's super easy and intuitive to operate. Um, it has three air settings here and it also has three heat settings. Um, it also has a cool button here. Uh, basically what this also has is an intelligent heat setting which will control the amount of heat that's flowing through and usually what happens in regular blow dryers is that the heat keeps on increasing you know the more the blow dryer is on. This basically sets it to the temperature that you've set it at and it will stay right there um, which means that you won't be harming your hair or burning it. So this basically comes with three different attachments. This is the first one. Um, also, all of the attachments are magnetic, so you don't have to, um, you know, plug it in or whatever. You can literally just take it close to the machine and it's gonna get stuck. So this is the one which will have a more uh, specific setting. So if you're blow drying your hair straight, you can use a paddle brush and take it through sections to make sure that it's you know, not moving the hair around too much. This is the other one which is a bit more wider. So it, this is just for your basic, you know, just drying, air drying, like blow drying your hair and just leaving it as is. Uh, the really cool thing about this is also that these are kind of multi-layered. So this part of the blow dryer will never get hot because it's protected from the heat um, thing that's inside it. So that's really cool. It also comes with this which is basically for curly hair and it'll just kind of blow dry your hair while maintaining the curls and it won't like take it all over the place. So these are the three attachments that it comes with. A couple of other things is I don't know about you guys but when I'm using a regular blow dryer and I'm blow drying my hair, my hair tends to get stuck in the back of the, the where the fan is. This doesn't happen with that because this basically doesn't really have a fan and it's not gonna you know get caught up in the fan and I hate that burning smell when the hair gets stuck. So that's not gonna happen. The wire is also something that does not you know restrict you. You can you can take the machine whichever way and it will move around with you. To clean this it's really simple. You can just open this part and clean whatever there is in this which will make sure that your blow dry is as effective as it was on the first day. Um, so yeah in terms of the noise I mean, I feel like this doesn't make as, as much noise as a regular blow dryer considering the fact that it dries your hair that much faster. So let's see, this is your... So that's basically the highest setting and this is what the noise is going to sound like. It's honestly not that loud and you can probably hear me through this thing which is I think a really great thing. I don't know how many times I've gone to a salon or I'm blow drying my hair with my friends and I can't hear what they're saying because I'm blow drying my hair. So this kind of avoids that as well. Um, and yeah, it also has this cool setting button. So what I tend to do is once I've blow dried my hair, I use the cool setting button to just go over the entire hair. What it does is it adds a lot of shine, it makes your hair a lot more smoother um, and it works really, really well in case you want to add like a really sort of natural um, you know that it, it just emulates that natural healthy hair shine. So yeah that was about it. it. This is something that's made my life so easy so I wanted to give some of it to you guys as well and make your life easy. I am giving away two of these Dyson Supersonic hair dryers. Now all you have to do to win this is obviously comment below and tell me why you should win this. Don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends. Uh, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. I'm also going to be announcing the winner of this giveaway on my Instagram channel. So make sure you're following me there. For the previous Maybelline to Gigi Hadid collection giveaway, I've mentioned the winner in the description box below. So make sure to check that out. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you next time.